flames swept through this empty lot in San Jose at First and Component this afternoon. The property is owned by Apple, but dozens of homeless people have moved in over the past year, including Robert, who raced over to help. Didn't want to spread? We didn't want to spread, and I also needed to warn everybody else there was a fire in the field. Yeah. So make sure everybody was at home. Robert says this has been his home for months. He's grateful no one has removed the encampment yet. You know, some of us are making a mess, which we're, we're trying to really clean up right now. But uh, we thank Apple for letting us stay here as long as they have. And we're trying to get out, you know, we're trying to do our best to get out. Hopefully they understand. The city estimates there are now more than 30 people living here and it's growing. There's an estimated 200 tons of hazardous trash and debris. The site filled with mobile homes and even makeshift wooden structures. But any responsibility on cleanup or removal lies with Apple, which bought the property two years ago. An Apple spokeswoman tells me Apple is working with the city and nonprofit partners on a solution for the site and adds part of the $2.5 billion pledge it made in 2019 to combat the housing crisis in California will build long-term affordable housing on the property. Homeless advocate Peter Barong Conk says for a big picture solution, local governments need to start using their vacant land for people to live on. They can withstand the pressure from the neighborhoods and say, no, this is our job. This is the humane thing to do. We're gonna put a project here. The city estimates there are 200 encampments like this throughout San Jose, and at last count two years ago, more than 6,000 people living on the streets. Homeless advocates say both those numbers are likely much higher now. In San Jose, Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.